hello everyone in this video we are going to make a fire from the car and it is really easy and fun to play with this uh, this video is going to be more like a walkthrough tutorial instead of those regular uh, tutorials so that i can focus more on explaining the concept instead of connecting different uh, nodes so let's get start so first i'll explain the concept behind this uh, node setup suppose uh, we have this input car in the first step we're going to extrude this curve along the z direction uh, based on the noise and then we're going to calculate the height for this grid uh, using this input curve as our reference if i go to the side view you can see that it is like a paper thin but the fire has volume so we're going to displace this grid about it is normal based on the noise and this noise will act as a wind uh, for this fire so this is the complete uh, concept behind this node setup so let's go to the geometry nodes so let me change this to a simple curve so these are the three uh, steps uh, this is the extrude step in this panel i have calculated the height and this is the third step where we're going to displace the grid so let's focus on this first step this is the input curve and then i have uh, resampled this uh, using this resample node after this i have stored uh, the original position of the curve and later we're going to use this to calculate the height or height gradient uh, for this uh, fire and to extrude this uh, curve based on the noise we have to set the radius of this curve based on the animated noise so this is the animated noise and see it is animated along the z direction then i using this multiplication factor to control the height of this fire then it is fed into the set curve radius node after this i have converted this curve into a mesh uh, using the curve line as a profile uh, this resample node is controlling the number of subdivisions along the curve and uh, this resample node which is uh, for the profile is controlling the number of subdivisions along the height if you want to trim this fire uh, that can be done using the spline parameter we have to add a value uh, to this uh, spline parameter and then multiply this value to the height of the fire and this value will act as a factor uh, to trim this uh, fire and if you switch these values uh, you can switch the direction for the trim now move on to second step here we're going to use the original position of the curve as reference to calculate the distance and this distance is going to be the height or height gradient for the this grid so this is the second step this is the third step in this we're going to displace the grid about it is original position based on the noise if i mute this we have this original grid and if i enable this uh, we are displacing this along it is normal based on this noise and this noise is also animated along the z direction to displace uh, this grid about its original position we have to subtract 0.5 from the noise texture because the noise texture value is from 0 to 1 but we need minus 0 0.5 to 0.5 that's why it is subtracted by 0.5 to bend this fire about the curve you have to subtract another value uh, from this noise texture and with this bend factor you can bend this fire about the curve now after that uh, this factor is multiplied by the height and then used uh, for the scale of the normal to offset the grid suppose uh, you want to add a wind direction to this fire uh, that can be done using this scale node and the height map just use this height map uh, for the scale of the vector or the wind direction and then add that to the vector from the normal and this is our total offset now controlling the this vector or wind direction we can specify the direction for this fire in the end i have uh, set the material for fire grid so this is the grid motion based on the uh, this radius noise as well as the side noise so now let's go to the shading part of the fire and this is a really easy and it is mainly based on the noise texture this panel is controlling the flame height we have original height map and with the color ramp we can shift the base of the flame and this is controlling the height for the fire i have used uh, this noise texture and it is animated along the z direction so here you can control the speed in which direction you want the animation and also the scale of this fire 
uh, because uh, due to buoyancy fire has more length along the upward direction instead of the sidewise so that's why i have stretched this noise texture by 0.5 along the z direction then it is multiplied by the height map we have this black and white uh, mask uh, this is the final mask uh, we're going to use for the strength for the color and also for the transparency of this uh, fire so for the strength i have just flipped this uh, color ramp uh, we have this kind of mask and this is the color and after this we have this emission shader so to remove this black color we're going to use the transparent shader and the mix shader are based on this black and white mask so for the transparency in the ev render engine you have to enable this alpha blend and also enable this show uh, back faces so if we connect this to this see we have this uh, fire because fire is not totally opaque so i have added small amount of transparency using this gray color uh, suppose you want to use this uh, fire uh, with the depth of field then change this uh, to alpha hash uh, because alpha blend doesn't work with this depth of field now to add the sparks uh, these small sparks uh, to this fire i use the same noise texture but with large uh, scale and the distortion factor we have this kind of noise and with the color ramp i have picked only the bright parts of this noise and then it is subtracted from the original fire noise texture with this we have these uh, black patches on the original uh, fire they will act as a fire sparks to this it is multiplied by the color ramp then we have these fire sparks so in this way you can achieve these uh, fire sparks uh, with the shader nodes so this is the material for the fire this is the node setup uh, for this fire effect this is it and if you like this work then please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates uh, this preset is available on the blender market so until next time happy noting bye